Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Stix here. Last episode, guys, we created this really, really cool train station. And if I turn around from this angle, it just looks fantastic. Hang on a second. This angle. Yeah, train station. We have a clock on the front to let everyone know what time it is. We have the V for Victoria Station. The train tracks come in here. There's no detail really on the inside for now. But anyways, guys, I had an idea the other day that we have a river coming down the side of the mansion here. So I need to figure it out. So there's going to be some roads that come around here as well. We need to get a road out to here. Um, and yeah, we also have to have the train tracks go through here and everything. So I want to start bringing this whole area around here to life. So we have the uh, town hall here. We have a bank. We have a house. Uh, this house is probably going to have to come out because it doesn't really match anything else that's going on around here at all not even slightly and i think we will be changing the town hall as well i think that that'll be coming down or at least changing a lot changing out the blocks maybe i'm not too sure we'll switch up a few things but anyways guys uh, i had an idea of a river running down here there's already kind of a river in here but anyways i want to actually running down the hill and coming to the lake over here eventually i'm not sure where the lake's going to be i know there's one here already but i think it's probably going to move to around here somewhere and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do i'm firstly gonna try and figure out where a road could go uh more of a driveway so the actual road yeah this is gonna be difficult because we've got train tracks and everything oh, i'm gonna have to do a lot of planning here before we even get started um so i need a driveway going up to the mansion so there's gonna be a mansion up here and i suppose we can just bring the driveway right along the front here right along here so i'm going to take this grass out change it into maybe concrete uh and when i say concrete i mean stone just plain stone could look like a really nice uh flat block for like a driveway of a mansion obviously there's no mansion here if you guys are new to this channel i uh i built i built all the landscaping for a mansion as you can see from this direction but i i never built the mansion i never got around to it and i collected a whole bunch of quartz to build the mansion and then I used all that quartz over there. So, well, a lot of it. There's almost nothing <laughs> nothing left in here. Anyways, guys, I'm just rabbiting on. Let's figure out about getting a river in here and a train bridge. I'm going to bring this train track out here. So that's going to have to go over a bridge. You're going to have to have the road. There's going to be train tracks coming out of here as well. We're going to have to do a lot of work on figuring out where all this stuff is going to go. So let's get to that. Let's do some planning first of all. Alrighty guys, looking down at this area, I have started to work out where the train tracks are going. This is a little bit too diagonal for me, so I will sort this out later on, but it's not really the main focus of this episode. I just wanted to get a general idea of where they'd be going, so they're all going to go into one line over there and head off that direction somewhere. We might have a little station near the town hall or the university. Yeah, I think we'll put one at the university, which can be used by like town hall people and stuff as well. Just a little station, not one like this monstrosity. I'm not building anything like this ever again. This took so long. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, so this train track um, splits off into two here and go around there. Obviously, it's not going to be stone under, so it'll be a lot easier to see. You'll have the bits of wood around it like we have on this side and like the dirt and gravel and all sorts of things. Make it look like an actual train track. And yeah, okay, cool. So we have uh, some Muppet morons over here that keep getting stuck and they're killing each other and themselves and yeah that thing's gonna die of suffocation soon enough you know whatever who cares they're idiots all right so this is going to be the driveway here so this on this perfect diagonal here it just goes on a perfect diagonal along to here till it gets to here then it's gonna curve off a bit that's gonna be a bridge over top of the river which is gonna flow underneath here so we're gonna have to build up some rocks and some hills here um, and all sorts, and then there's going to be a river. I'm not sure how high. Um, it's going to run through here somewhere. Probably about here, to be honest. And run right down alongside this road here. And then it's going to squeeze through this gap here. And yeah, off into a lake, which will be somewhere in the general area around here. And we're using a lot of stone for these builds. So I've filled in a lot of stone underneath these for now. Um, it's actually double layered, so I can put gravel in. It's actually so much work, it's ridiculous. But guys, 
I thought, you know what, this hill here needs to go. So I've been taking this down to get the stone for it, killing two birds with one stone, which is fantastic. But why would you ever want to kill the bird? I have no idea. Anyways, guys, here we go. This is the driveway. Now we need to work on the actual river thing, getting getting an idea of where the river is coming down. I'm going to make this quite a steep river in this part here anyway. It's going to level off over here and go nicely into the lake over there. But up here, I want it to be steep-ish. So every like four or five blocks, it's going to drop down a bit, I think. I think. We'll have to figure that out as we go. This is the actual driveway, though. We've got an idea of where this is going, where the bridge can go and things like that. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to try and figure that out. There's going to have to be like some walls here, some some cliff like hanging up, holding all this sort of thing up here. So yeah, I'm going to have to try work this out. It's going to have to bring it in through here. Okay, lots of work to go, guys. Lots and lots of work. Alrighty, so those Muppets finally did despawn. Now, if you hear any uh, construction noise outside, I apologize once again. They, they seem to come like once a week and just make noise outside my window. I have no idea what's going on. But anyways, guys, we've done a bunch of work here. I've started filling in where the river is actually going to go here. So this is looking pretty cool. I think here it might be a little too shallow, but I'm, I'm not too sure. I think we'll be just fine. We want to make this kind of like rocky and stuff anyway. It's not going to be this flat. This is just a general shape that we're going for. So the bridge is now in. I've uh, created like the... Uh, the support system here so that's looking pretty cool i built up a bit of a cliff here that's holding up that part of the bridge and yeah so we'll do the same on this side probably but uh yeah let's take a quick fly up here and we'll be able to look at it from this direction so yeah the, the driveway goes up here and around there and it's looking pretty cool i like it so we need to get a bunch of water in here eventually as well but i need to mess it up i've just made it with stone for now so we need to get cobblestone and all the slabs and stairs and all sorts of things in here. Build some rocks jutting out of it. I want to make this look like a real river. It's going to be hard because Minecraft water reacts very strangely. But, you know, we'll get there. But anyway, I really like these curves. It's a bit hard because the bridge is going down. And it's on a diagonal. So it's a bit it's a bit interesting. But we have it all in now. It's really cool. Uh, we should put in some cracked and some mossy and stuff in here as well. Um, eventually, I'm just trying to get the general shape of everything in here now. Um, now we can start like taking blocks out and just replacing them with cobblestone slabs and all sorts of different things to make it look like rocks. And I think we have some andesite as well. Yeah, that could go cool to mess up uh, like rock faces and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's get a bunch of that stuff in. I think also I need to fill in here and I think I need to take out this little mountain here as well because the driveway is probably going to just like swerve around here and go across the train tracks. But maybe it could go across the train tracks down there where there's only one train track. Oh, Minecraft makes weird noises these days, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're going to take out this hill as well. Oh, we've got a sunflower up here. Nice, isn't it? Okay, cool. Let's get this uh, raging river going through here. I want to make it look like it's kind of going... Like it's quite a fast river if I can. I'm not too sure if that's going to be possible, but we'll do our best, guys. So let's try and mess this up and make it look like a real river. Okay, guys, this is looking substantially messed up to me. Let's fly in quickly and we can have a look. As you can see, I went mental. I've just put stuff everywhere. This is meant to be like a fast rapid with rocks everywhere. It's just smashing into them. So we got a couple of big rocks here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the water. It's going to be very tedious because all these half slabs need like filling them with water. So what I'm going to do is start down the bottom. Um, and work my way up, making sure I fill in all of these slabs and stairs on the side, first of all. So we'll do that, and then once we've done that, we'll start adding in like layers up here and maybe up on that top level there as well. So yeah, I've uh, decided to make it quite steep here with the river, so it's it's blowing down here quite fast. And then it's sort of going to level out on this here and be probably too deep all the way to the lake at this height probably, because uh, I think this is 66, yeah, 66. and. Normal water level in Minecraft, I think, is 63. Well, that lake over there is anyway. I think the ocean is 63, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going we're gonna to probably build the lake at that height, so we can probably drop down one or two more blocks. But I want it to sort of flow into the lake to be above the lake when it flows in. So that'll be the plan. That's uh, a long way off, though, because it's got to go all the way over here. I'm thinking of putting the lake around here somewhere. I'm not sure. We've obviously got to work in this driveway and the roads and the 
train tracks and things like that, they've all got to go around it. So once we get rid of this hill, we might have a better idea. And we might have to change where these train tracks are going. And I, all, like I said before, I have to change the shape. But anyway, this is going to be some tedious work now with the water. I've got five water buckets. Now on this flat, it's going to be pretty easy because I can probably just like waterlog this, waterlog this, and then just use one bucket. But later on, when it gets more difficult, I'm not going to be able to just pick up water sources from anywhere, am I? Going to get crazy. Um, is it going to fill in? Like if I grab a water source, if I fill in this block here, I clicked on the wrong one. This one here. It's like, okay, it is going to fill those in. That's good. It's just not going to fill them in unless we do it on both sides. Okay, that's cool. That's just a visual bug, guys. That's fine. Um, okay, yeah, let's get this level filled up. And then I suppose we'd move on to the next level up here. Get that flowing down into here. So let me just quickly do this and see what it looks like. Okay, guys, that's all looking fine. Nice, nice. Okay, I think I've got all of the blocks. Now, let's say we move on to this level. So we'd want to waterlog that. We can come down here, grab some more water, waterlog that. That should fill that waterlog, yes. Okay, this might actually be pretty easy for this whole first level. So let's make sure we waterlog all of these things. That's going to be flowing into there. Uh, do we want to make that second level first? I don't know, guys. It's going to be hard to get this water right. There's going to be a lot of finagling to make this look really, really cool. But um, hopefully it's worth it in the end. I think this will look nice. See, guys, this is the problem we're going to have. That's a very straight line, and I want it on an angle. So how are we going to do that without it making, like, um, water sources everywhere? This is going to be complicated. Although, what we could do, actually, is drag these water sources out like this. Aha! Yes, okay. I figured it out. There we go, that's how we do it. Drag those out a bit. Like so. That give us the curve that we want. How do we do that? We need to put a full block in there. There we go, we got a nice curve. Okay, now we can just take these all back out again. I need to use something that isn't stone though, so I can tell where I've put the blocks. Okay, I'm going to grab some dirt so we can carry on doing this. Okay guys, it's actually kind of done with just one layer. I think what I'll do is actually drop this down a block and have this as two layers. So it looks a little bit deeper down here. Or maybe even just fill it up at this level. That could work, but that would give it less depth as it comes down. But yeah, I've made it sort of like on an angle here where the water comes down and stuff. I think that looks really cool. I think we've, I think we've got it guys. It's looking nice. It looks like a bunch of water coming down. Uh, like an actual river almost. Unlike the like stationary rivers that Minecraft has. Like the one we've built over there and things like that. And that's all just flat, like the ones here. That's not a flowing river, is it? Really. Uh, but here we go. We, this is this is coming down the hill. It looks much better from a distance, so let's fly away a little bit. There we go, looking back. And we have the nice little bridge over it. So yeah, I think we'll drop that down and see where it can head over in this direction. So um, that was basically the plan for this episode so far. So let's try and extend it out that way a little bit. There's, there's a lot of detail gone into this, so hopefully we can sort of replicate the same thing as we weave down there somewhere. I think that's cool. That's that's awesome. Um, so we also need to figure out what's going to happen with the train track. Does this go into a cave and this water also go into a cave or what? I am not entirely sure. It could be kind of cool either way, but yeah, I need to figure that out. So the water is uh, flat up here and there's a bit missing there, but I'm pretty sure... If I relog, that will fix itself. But I'm just going to fix it now anyway, because it's hurting my... I don't have any full blocks on me. That is ridiculous. Please. Oh, give me the block, you silly game. Place this near. And there we go. Fixed. Okay, anyways, guys. Yeah, let's figure out what we're going to do with the uh, train lines here. And I might readjust those ones as well. And also, as you can see... This mountain has pretty much disappeared over the course of this episode so far. There's a bit more over here, but basically we've got it. So that's pretty cool. It was at like that level up there. So that's awesome. Alrighty guys, here we go. I have added in a bunch of details here. We've gone for like bits of dirt and grass and actual grass pieces and some dead bushes along the riverside here. I put some leaves in as well. On both sides, I just smattered it around just a little bit because we don't want too much. Now, I don't want any growth in the actual river itself because it's going to be flowing so fast that nothing could possibly grow in here. So that is the plan. I mean, it doesn't look like it's it's flowing terribly fast, but it is. Okay, guys, just you, you, you got to pretend because this is Minecraft. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty cool. I like it. So if we uh, go down here, I actually added in 
a, another stretch. I think we finished about here somewhere, added in another stretch down to here, which is looking pretty damn awesome, guys. Yeah, so we have a river coming in and it's going to go along this path down there. We still got a bunch of this to take out. And also, if we come up here, we will see that I've, I've fixed up the train tracks quite a bit here. So there's a lot different going on. So that track is going to end right there, but it also can join onto this track here. If the tracks are positioned that way, it can go straight onto this one. It looks a little bit funny with all these tracks and stuff everywhere. But, you know, that's the best we can do, guys. And then uh, this one goes over to here and joins into this one. And we're going to have a single track running this way uh, to go through the rest of the town here. So it'll hit off in this direction, probably past the town hall, maybe loop around here. And then stop off maybe behind the university here and that will probably be the end of the line unless we make it go through up into this area or whatever i'm not too sure um this is the university here we only have one building in the university so far and another one planned where all these red concrete blocks are how did we get over here that's unreal <laughs> anyway i'll just show you this anyway we have we have the library here which i like i like a lot okay let's head back to the river and let's have a look at it from the sky What's it looking like? You know what, guys? With the road going up there and everything, I really, really like that. That is that is just fantastic. That is really, really set everything up now with all the details and stuff added in. All right, that's cool. Um, so the road goes down here and then across the train track there. Obviously, we're going to have to do something a bit nicer with all of this. I think what we'll do is probably keep it at this height because it's looking a little silly rising up like that. Yeah, we'll keep the road at that height. So I'm going to take these out and just back this up to over there at the same height and build some land around it, even though we just took all the land out. But, you know, it's OK. We'll figure that out. Let's fix up that. Fix up this area here, I think. Make it all nice. And then, uh, yeah, we should be done for this episode. It doesn't look like it. Well, I suppose it does look like quite a bit of work. It's nice anyway. I really, really like it. Alrighty guys, this is looking much better. The road is now surrounded, the driveway, sorry, is now surrounded by grass and dirt blocks and, you know, path blocks and things. So what I'm going to do to finish off this episode, guys, is what we are going to ignore all the random Minecraft noises in the background. I, d I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, anyways, I started digging out here, guys, so we can put in all the gravel and stuff like we have over there and maybe start putting some fences around here because we don't want people to just be able to walk into this yard here. Um, I've just put this in as well. This is like end of the line type of thing where this track goes, but that track can go that way or that way. So yeah, it's quite useful, guys. Alrighty, so yeah, we need to take out all of these blocks here and replace them with the gravel and all the things that are over here. And now I've forgotten... The podzel, the podzel, that's the one. So we need gravel, uh, coarse dirt, and podzel. Okay, cool. And a lot of dead bushes, but we've got heaps of them now. I don't know where I've put them, though. Where have I put them, guys? Are they in one of these? I think they may be in one of these. There we go, okay. Uh, well, that's only a few of them. I've got some more somewhere, but that should be enough for this area anyway. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll put them over here. We'll fill in all of this and maybe put up a fence, which should be looking cool. And this little river thing should be done for today. And we'll have to figure out where the lake and stuff is going um, in a different video. But yeah, okay, let's get this stuff done. Well, guys, as we spin around, this is what we've done this episode. This whole area is now pretty much complete i think there's still some more details to add and there's more of these idiots look at them what are they doing now morons they are always morons okay anyways yeah there's a lot more details to add in here probably like crates and stuff to make this look like more of a train yard but um for now i think we're gonna leave it because we've done heaps today but anyways we have um we have the fence all around now all of the blocks underneath i put the uh uh, I guess these are called railway sleepers. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. Anyways, I put them in. We have the driveway here with the grass and stuff. Obviously, more detail could go in here. We need. We probably put trees and stuff around as well. But yeah, we've done a bunch of work today, guys. So I think we're gonna call it quits there. But yeah, it's looking. It's looking rather nice. Let's take a a view from above, looking at the whole the train station. And it goes out that way, and we've got it all the way out here as well. And then the driveway that goes up there. That is that is just so cool. If these idiots weren't in the way, I'm just going to go kill them and take my screenshot for this episode, because they're completely in the way of that. But yeah, this is all looking really, really cool, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the very next episode.